that fixed it. I always have to just quickly restart it. It only takes a second. On Streamlabs OBS, I can just switch the actual, like, source projector thing. Not source projector. Like, there's this little scene thing where you can change the, like, list of scenes altogether. And that works the same as closing it, at least. Or fixing that choppy bug that happens randomly. Not sure what the cause of that is. I'm gonna look into that. Outdated driver hardware, not interacting well, or whatever it is, I'll figure it out. The scene is really pretty. the Faldo. trip. I've taken Feldu in order to enter Denroot Barrow. I shall have to be careful as I proceed through the barrow.
Okay, I've got more fell dough. Sorry for that loud cough. where I need to go. Take some Faldo too, get rid of that withdrawal.
red cow. See that. Oh, he was just moving from the water. This one little turn up here is where I need to go.
Sometimes I'm bad at Fell do is a crazy stat. Body twitching now. Hey, milk crate. <laughs> well, I guess, realistic-wise, I guess it depends on whether you compare it to the era we live in now or like a magical fantasy world kind of era. <laughs> but it's, it's pretty realistic in the, t in the t certain terms that it's like, I'm just stumbling over my voice. 
It's got pretty views and the graphics are pretty decent for its time, 2005, 2006. So it's, it's realistic in that sense, I guess. Can you play in VR? I'm sure by now somebody has made a VR mod. Let me look that up. I have survived Unroot Burrow. Now I need to search the tower above for the chalice of reversal. Let me look that up real quick on my phone. VR Oblivion mod. It's been in development for years, so they're definitely working on it, but they don't have it out yet. But that is the news on the Oblivion VR mod. Look at this armor. <laughs> I love this armor. Even though it's not like really good armor, I just wear what's pretty. <laughs> and just block a lot. But yeah, it would be really cool to play this in VR, for sure. Like I said, you can go into first person view or third person, but I kind of alternate between the two. I like them both, so I'll use one for a while, then I'll use the other. And I have the Chalice of Reversal. It should be delivered to Thaden as soon as possible. That's kind of my little way of doing it, just so I don't get sick of one being too long, you know. But I definitely would love to play this game in VR. Hope you're having an awesome day, Milk Crate. But if not, I hope it gets a little more awesome soon. I climbing a mountain. I do this all the time on Bethesda games. Like, instead of just taking the direct path, well, actually, I guess you could say it's a direct path. Instead of taking the actual path, I'll just start, like, climbing mountains. I just need to kill this guy in fast travel. <laughs> Is there another one of these? Yeah, there's another one of these nearby. So if I want to, I can just keep throwing hearts into here. I think I still got some hearts of order, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I love this music, it's so peaceful. It's by and far my favorite video game soundtrack. I love a lot of different game soundtracks. Metal Gear Solid, Snatcher, Silent Hill 2. Of course I name up a whole bunch of Konami ones. I am obviously an old school Konami fangirl. Old school yes? Hideo Kojima fangirl as well. The triumphant champion returns. So, do you feel any different now that you've been through this experience, I mean? You know what it's like now, always wanting that next fix, hating it but craving it at the same time, and hating yourself for it. Ah, well, all over now. The chalice helps, doesn't it? Indeed it does, and I could use some helping right now. I'll just take that back from you. And as a token of my gratitude, I grant you the role of Courtier of Mania, with all of its entitlements. Which is to say, Wonderful. <laughs> now that I've become a member of the courts of both the Dukes of Madness, I shall return to Sheikh Orath and report my progress. experience both shades of madness. Wonderful. You seem fulfilled. Full of fill. Bursting at the seams. <gasps> Seamless. Now, to the meat of your endeavor. The crux of the situation. The reason for your being here. And the likely cause of your death. You'll be stopping the Grey March. Altering the course of events. 
breaking the cycle. A fly in the ointment. A new cause for a different effect. We're going to change things. No, things will be different this time around. You'll be my champion. You'll grow powerful. You'll grow to be me. Prince of Madness, a new Shea Gorath. Or you'll die trying. I love that about you. A fair question. You won't live. Really. At least I don't think so. But you'll have power. My power. Try not to lose it. It's a pain to replace. But for all intents and purposes, you'll be me. A me to fight the him. Since I won't be around. It's simple, really. If you don't think about it. Because you seem a nice enough sart. And you've made it this far. And if you don't, I'll swallow your soul and vomit it into the ever-filling chamber pot of the Ageless. <laughs> but mostly because I asked nicely. Well, not here. Didn't I say that? I'm never here when Jigalag walks. It's one of the rules. I've told you too much for now. Listen to me, prattle on. I can see your mortal brain straining. We'll talk more later. Now, you've seen the great torch that burns brightly over Nushea. No, because it doesn't. It should, but it doesn't. You'll fix that. You'll go to Sylar and bring back the flame of Agnon to relight the torch. Oh. And take care with my minions at Sylar. In their eternal quest, to please me, they're constantly fighting over Sylar. It can be tiresome, but really, it's divine. Divinely tiresome. Well, that's your problem now. Off with you. I don't want to see you again until the Great Torch is lit. I wouldn't want to have to hurt you much. Oh, don't forget to make use of dear Haskell. Between you and me, if he's not summoned three or four times a day, I don't think he feels appreciated. That's where you're going to get the flame of Agnon. Do you listen to anything I say? Do your ears work? If not, I can find use for them. Go and fetch the flame. Bring it to the Sicellum. Light the great torch. How are you going to be me if you can't even do what me tells you? It's what's used to light the great torch. Haven't we covered this? You'll find it in Sylarn, guarded by my saints and seducers. The great torch shines brightly above New Shea. A beacon of hope for all the citizens. Except it doesn't. It's gone out! Happens every time the Grey March begins, which it has. Makes all of my subjects uneasy, tense, homicidal, sometimes. We need to get that torch relit, or the place falls apart. Aren't you the curious one? You know what they say about curiosity, don't you? It killed the intrepid adventurer who really should just be doing exactly what I say at all times. You're going to stop the Grey March by becoming me. Or a version of me, but you'll be powerful. Powerful enough to stop Jigalag. He's on his way. So I'm on my way out. It's terribly inconvenient. Mm -hmm. You're going to stop him, though. And the first thing to do is to make my people feel safe. Otherwise, they tend to go work for him. It's annoying to tell the truth. A bit hurtful. They do it every time. Join up with the enemy and become priests of order. They're getting more active every day. Not a good sign. You know what would be a good sign? Free sweet <laughs> rolls. Ho, ho, ho. Who wouldn't like that? Shut them down where you can, and make sure to kill the priest you see around them. If you don't, they can reactivate the obelisk. They're the worst of all. My own subjects, working for the enemy. 
It's enough to make an old Daedric prince get all weepy. It doesn't help that they're the ones who make the obelisks work. A little chanting, a little ritual, and poof, knights of order. Bad news. Kill them when you see them. But don't touch the corpse until they're really dead. Which they aren't until you deactivate the obelisk. Ah, come visit again! Or I'll pluck out your eyes! <laughs> Shagorath wants me to relight the great torch of New Shagorath. I need to go to the ruins of Silard, kindle the flame of Agnon there, and return with its holy fire. Shagorath warned me that the Golden Saints and Dark Seducers who guard the shrine often fight each other, so I should proceed cautiously. mind me i'm a little tired can't sleep at home you know the walls they aren't really safe. good control quest this guy don't you know you don't do you well it's lucky you met me here you've been walking around as if nothing could happen well there's an idea why didn't i think of that but where would i sleep i need some place to sleep i've seen some people sleeping out on the street but they huddle too close to the walls i need some place safe I can't just sleep anywhere. There are walls and statues and all sorts of things that can fall on me. Can't have that. Nope. But if you find me a good place to sleep, a safe place outside, I'll reward you. Oh, don't tease me. It's serious. I could die. We all could die. Please, help find a safe spot outside to sleep where the walls won't come crashing down. Cutter sells weapons in crucibles, but you won't catch me going there. Hi. Hi. Yes? It's just one more way they try to get me to get all special in the head, right? Make me sleep outside and everything. I don't belong here. What I would do for a warm bed. Soon I'll be leaving here. As soon as I can figure out how to leave without them noticing. I heard Toad the Unrestful is building something again. Why would he want to sleep in a bedroom and give me his bed? Sounds queer. I bet it's just another trick to get my head all twisted round. Trade places? A bed under a roof for a bedroll under the stars? Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. I don't trust you. Yes? Oh, uh, well, what a thoughtful... Well, it sounds fishy, but I suppose I can trust you. I'm sure I'll regret this later, but... Yeah. Sure, fine. I'm tired of sleeping outside. Tell him I'll sleep in his bed, and he can sleep in mine. Goodbye. Have you found me a safe place outside to sleep yet? You found a place for me to sleep? Outside under the stars, too small to fall and hurt me? Excellent, excellent. Tell me more. Really? And it's a safe place? Not at the bottom of a tall wall? Oh, that's a great idea. That sounds perfect. Well, I guess if he's not afraid of the walls falling on him, he won't care when they do. Can't save everyone, right. can we? <laughs> oh, yes, my pardon. But what can I give you? Mm. Oh, here, take this scroll. 
I was going to use it when the walls fell on me and I got trapped. But now I don't need it anymore. Uh, if the walls fell on you, you probably wouldn't be able to get the scroll out and use Remember, it. Remember, walk lightly and always look up. to there would be either Dunroot Burrow or Knife Point Hollow. Stay away! My double is always working. It takes all my energy just watching him work. It's got to stop. It's a problem, all these doubles walking around. And it's tiresome. Didn't used to be like this. Some blasted mage had a theory. They've always got theories. He thought there was a manic and a demented in each of us. So what does he do? What else? Casts a spell. You can see how well that went. Two of each of us walking around this place. Nothing we can do about it either. There's a law about that here. Been to the Hill of Suicides? Not a nice place. But you might be able to help. Only one group can stick around. Either we demented or those blasted manics. The only way we'll find any peace, you get rid of those manics, all of them. You can take care of that for me, I'd make it worth your while. Good, just get rid of all those manics in town, and we'll all be happier. Don't kill any demented, though, or no reward for you. I expect you to be taking care of the problem. I'm too tired to do it. care.
There would be more corpses to count if someone would get rid of all the doubles around here. Sure would be nice to see one more corpse around here. One that looks like me, but isn't me. Take my meaning? Goodbye. You've taken care of business yet? It's exhausting just waiting for you. Got them all? Makes me tired just thinking about it. Good work, though. Here's the reward I promised. You cleared that up. <laughs> you must be exhausted. See you. isn't really addicted to Valdu. Valdu is perfectly safe. There's nothing magical about his special cup either. Good for Thaden. Doesn't help us any. <clears throat> Goodbye. Hello. split really of getting there on previous playthroughs so I mean I must have back in 2006 or 2007 back when I was playing it alive I have to imagine I don't remember it at all but there's also a chance I just never went to split I might have just walked around the town on my way to this area or just ignored it altogether possibly though I can't see myself doing that <laughs> a very curious personality want to find out stuff.
I have arrived at the ruins of Silar. I will need to speak to the commanders of the Golden Saints and Dark Seducers to find out how to light the flame of Agnon. How may I serve? Open this gate. Halt! Mortals are not permitted within the walls of Holy Silarn. My pardon, Lord. Receive this key and with it free passage throughout the shrine of the Flame of Agnon. Alas, we cannot light the flame until we take control of the Altar of Despair from the infernal Maskin. The Armazokana would wish to speak to you at once. Proceed through this door to our main encampment at the Altar of Rapture. My scouts reported no signs of the Maskin in the Underdeep. It's our best chance to take them unawares. Too risky. It's likely to be a trap. They could cut us to pieces down there if they knew we were coming. With all due respect, Armas, I ask that you reconsider. The main passage is strongly defended. Perhaps if you'd allow me to scout further. Enough! I've made my decision. We will attack down the main passage as planned. The Maskin will not withstand us. I overheard two Golden Saint officers arguing about the best way to attack the Dark Seducers. The Lieutenant, Morel, mentioned something about the Underdeep, a secret side passage leading to the Dark Seducer altar. I should find out more about this passage from Morel. Shale Gorath's blessings upon you. Greetings, stranger. Are you here to help us drive the Maskin out of Cylon? The flame is only lit at the command of Shale Gorath, from the altars of rapture and despair within the shrine itself. I'm sure that our Mazel Kana will be glad to help you once the Mazkin are driven from the Altar of Despair. Alas, we have not seen the Altar of Despair for many years. It is in the underground part of Cylon, which is controlled by the Mazkin. The Mazkin do not even allow us free passage to worship there, which is one of the many reasons why they are unfit to continue to guard it. It is just there at the top of these steps. You would pray for the blinding ecstasy, which is the ultimate reward for those in Shergora's service. She commands the Orioles here at Cylon. She has just arrived with reinforcements from Relak to end this stalemate once and for all. The treacherous ones, the dark seducers of ill repute, whose every action drags Shergora's holy name through the mud. My scouts recently discovered another way through the ruins to the Altar of Despair. The Armasul Kana wants to assault the altar down the main passage, but the Mazkin are expecting us to come that way. They've strongly fortified the main passage against us. If we attacked through the Underdeep, we could take them by surprise. If only Kana would listen to me. An attack down the main passage will end the same as it always does. A glorious defeat! She thinks the Underdeep is a trap. It's true. If the Mazkin knew we were coming that way, we wouldn't stand a chance. But I'm convinced the Mazkin don't expect us to come that way. If we attacked in full force, we could take the Altar of Despair before they had a chance to react. If only I could make Kana see that. That's what we call ourselves. The most loyal and honorable servants of Sheagora. Our home and sanctuary here in the Shivering Isle. Go. Morale, the Golden State Lieutenant, told me that his scouts have recently discovered a side passage leading to the Altar of Despair through the Underdeep. He believes an attack down this room will take the Dark Seducers by surprise. I should scout the Dark Seducer deployments at both the side passage and the main passage and find out if Morale is right. Serve. The Underdeep is only lightly defended by the Dark Seducers. It appears that they do not believe the Golden Saints will attack this way. I should survey the Dark Seducer deployments along the main passage leading to the Altar of Despair, and then report my findings to Kane.
the altar of the dark seducers are defending the main passage to the altar of despair and strength. The route through the underdeep appears to be only lightly defended. This information might convince Kane to attack through the underdeep. Rapture will be ours. Kana, Kane, I'm not sure exactly how this works. But they said it earlier, I didn't pick up on it. The altar of, of rapture will be ours. Sheogorath, blessings upon you. Sheogorath, blessings upon you. What is your business here? Then I am at your service. The Grok Hedrick Ulfri commands here. You will wish to speak to her at once, no doubt. We hold the Altar of Despair, here within the Shrine of the Flame of Agnon. Continue down the corridor if you wish to meditate there upon the fate of all things mortal. The counterpart to the Altar of Despair, Rapture is currently held by the Aureoles in their complacency, but that will soon change. Our rivals, the so called Golden Saints. One day, Sheogorath will finally recognize their bull headed stupidity and expel them from the realm. The Holy Flame can only be lit from the altars of despair and rapture. Alas, the Aureoles hold rapture for now. You should speak to the Grakedric Ulfri at once. She will be glad of your help to rid Silarn of the arrogant Ariels once and for all. You know us as Dark Seducers, a name given us by our enemies. But we are the Mazkin in our own tongue, Sheogorath's only truly loyal servants. She is the Gorkedric, commander of the Mazkin here at Silarn. She has never yet been defeated by the Orioles, despite their strength. Walk with our Lord. Fills out the map, no time to go to Ulfri. Sheogorath, blessings upon you. Cool, I've got a level. Be, be gone, mortal, or you will soon find yourself between the Mazkin and their prey. A most dangerous place to be. We are preparing to wipe out the arrogant Ariels once and for all. Once they break themselves on our defenses, Cylarn will be ours, a gift for our Lord Sheogorath. Exactly, that's why I'm always telling people it's so pretty and colorful compared to Skyrim, which is just so snowy. I hope you're having an awesome day, Gyotex15, and if you're not, I hope it gets a little more awesome soon. Yeah, and the side quests have so much more to them. They're so well written. While with, you know, with Skyrim, they feel like MMORPG sky, uh, side quests or something. Then you have arrived just in time Skyrim to help us defend the altar really of rushed. despair. Once the strength of the Aureoles is shattered, I will be honored to light the flame as my Lord Sheogorath commands. Oblivion's always been my favorite one. The two altars, Blessed Despair and Holy Rapture, feed the great flame of Agnon above us. Only Sheogorath's immortal servants can kindle the altars, and I am at my lord's command. But I only hold despair for the moment. The Aureoles hold Rapture and are massing to attack us. But never fear, they are no match for us. 
Once their main force is destroyed, with your help, we can easily take rapture from the few survivors. Then I will gladly kindle the flame for you. Ah, oh, your MacBook can't handle games. Yeah, my PC, I guess it could handle this game, but then I wouldn't be able to stream it because it's, it's powerful enough to stream or play a game, but not to do both. That's why I tend to play games on console. In this case, I'm on Xbox. As you can see, my first achievement on this game goes back to August 5th, 2006. And the very last one was June 18th, 2010. <laughs> you can see Shadowrun back on there. Anybody remember Shadowrun for the 360? We are expecting the Orioles to attack any moment. They'll come down the main passage from the Altar of Rapture. They always do. They are overconfident as usual. We have prepared many traps and ambushes. It will be a glorious slaughter. Once the Orioles are destroyed, I will light the flame of Agnon for you. Will you help us defend the Altar of Despair? Yeah, I have all the achievements. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, they're not too hard to get. They're mostly just for doing very specific. Like, just for, like, completing all the different quests. Like, at least there's nothing too out of the, you know, ordinary. Like, collect a whole bunch of random crap on the ground. I always hate those. I hate when the game has, a game has achievements for collecting a whole bunch of things. Like, feathers and Assassin's Creed or The Simpsons was full of achievements for collecting stuff. I never suspected that Kana had the audacity to try such a risky assault. But we'll teach her to try to take the Mazkin by surprise. We'll cut them to pieces in those corridors. I'll redeploy my forces at once. You return to Kana and lead her into the trap. Once they're destroyed, I will kindle the altars. Good hunting, friend. Sheogorath, blessings upon you. Yeah, I love the Fable games. They're really good. Yeah, the second one was the best. After I beat the second one, I used to just run around with all this money I had. And I would just, like, just hand it out to new players. I'd see those little stars that you'd see floating around that represented a player. And I would just hand out money to them. Like, hey, you need some money? Here's a ton of money. Hey. <laughs> it's because I have all this money. It's hey. like... I like being good or evil more. On well, the first playthrough, I'm always good, but then on the second playthroughs, I'm usually evil. But then I usually round myself away back to good after a while. <laughs> it's usually how I handle it. But yeah, I love Fable, Mass Effect, um, Dragon Age, all of those morality games. They're all pretty fun. And of course, Oblivion. Obviously. I love the Elder Scrolls games, but Oblivion was the only one that really stood out to me. I tried Elder Scrolls Online. I played it a little bit. Just wasn't really fascinated with it. <laughs> I'm not big on MMORPGs. MMORPGs usually have really bad writing and really simple quests and just kind of... I don't know. I didn't like Fallout 76 either that much. Oh yeah, Andromeda was a letdown. You hate MMOs too? <laughs> awesome. The Maskin are unworthy to guard the altar of despair. This is no place for a mortal. We are about to join battle against the Maskin. You'd best stand aside. My pardon, emissary. I am at your service. We are preparing to sweep the Maskin scum from Cylon. Perhaps Sheogorath sent you to help us. Only the servants of Sheogorath can light the flame by kindling the altars of despair and rapture which feed the flame. Alas, we hold only the altar of rapture. The treacherous mask can hold the altar of despair. We must control both to light the flame. If you help us seize the altar of despair from the maskin, I will be honored to kindle the flame of Agnon for my lord Sheogorath. The only way to assault the altar of despair is down the main passage between the two altars. It will be difficult. The Mazkin have fortified their position, but I am confident that with your help, we can defeat them. Will you help us retake the Altar of Despair and drive the Mazkin out of Cylarn once and for all? Oh yeah, it absolutely is. <laughs> Twitch is a lot of fun. And yeah, I used to do YouTube long plays, but that's very unsocial. You would just sit there and like 
to have nobody to talk to, and you would just make random comments about a game that was very, ca very canned, and most of my YouTube long plays didn't have any commentary anyways, because I was very shy back then. <laughs> this was before I started transitioning and became more social. Very good, Emissary. With your help, we will rid Cylarn of the Maskin once and for all. But absolutely. Yeah, I used to be very antisocial before I transitioned. Something about estrogen just made me more social. Something about transitioning to the gender I always needed to be just made me more, more talkative, more social. Just made me appreciate socializing more. I mean, I'd always wanted to socialize back in the day. I was just very shy about people being mean to me or trolling me or this, that, or the other. And nowadays, I've been through all that and survived. <laughs> I've had death threats and stuff like that. But the truth is, all the good people you meet, they make up for any bad people you come across. It makes streaming a lot of fun. Comrades, beware. Absolutely. <gasps> I'm much happier these days. How many people it takes to kill one of these dark seducers? Look at that, that's insane. Look at that. <laughs> just all these people just beating up one dark seducer and it's just putting up a fight, you know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I also have most of the achievements on Fallout 3 except for two of them. The one for dropping a grenade in somebody's pants, because I wanted to save that one for last for some reason. I always wanted the achievement thing to show on the most recent four ones on the Xbox profile back when that was a thing. You know, that used to actually be a thing. Um, having the four achievements I didn't show on there like that. <laughs> that one and the ingots. I could never get all the ingots on Fallout 3. Trying to get all those ingots drove me insane. I think they are really scattered in some weird place. Why am I going towards the red mark rather than towards the enemy? <laughs> I do that sometimes. But yeah, the ingots on Fallout 3 were really hard to find. Any kind of quest that revolves trying to collect a whole bunch of things. Oh, those things always drive me nuts. Hunting down things and looking for them. <laughs> Thanks. Before the saints. <laughs> it's very sweet. Uh, oh, sorry, I hit a golden saint. I didn't mean to. I apologize. My soul for Sheogorath. <laughs> for Sheogorath's glory. Accidentally cut that golden saint. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the. Uh, there we go. So I have hit it the right way. Sometimes I forget to put my sword away and just like run really slow. I'm remembering better now though about putting the sword away. That's good. Dark Seducer Commander is dead. I should finish off the remaining Dark Seducers of Cylarn to complete the Gold Saints victory. Oh, they killed that Gold Saint. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. I think that's really cool. 
I find the shower always. This is my place where I get like creative inspiration for some reason. Like if I'm in the shower, or if I'm in the tub soaking, or if I'm just out looking at like how beautiful the world is sometimes. That's part of what inspires me to be really creative. Just seeing the scenery and stuff like that. This game has some really good scenery. Oh yeah, good hot shower is always awesome. My ex used to compare me to the Mother of Dragons from Game of Thrones because I always love such hot showers and hot tubs. <laughs> yeah, it's a gorgeous game, both visually and the music as well. The composer had been in a car accident shortly before composing the music for the game, and it was a near-fatal car accident, and it caused him to get a more serious and deep appreciation of life from you know, nearly losing it like that. And I think it really comes through in some of the more beautiful tracks in the game. Maybe not so much in the battle tracks, because they're good battle tracks, but like, especially when you're wandering around, it's got that really beautiful, mysterious music. The Dark Seducers and Silarn have been utterly destroyed. I should speak to Kana about lighting the flame of Agna now that he, now that her forces control both of the altars. Oh yeah, Jeremy Soul. Yeah part of why the soundtrack is just so gorgeous. I bought the soundtrack on Apple Music as well. I'd love to listen to it. That was before Apple Music had their $10 a month service. But even so, I still probably would have bought it just out of support. Because I love Victory the is ours. I have already selected a candidate for the honor of kindling the Altar of Rapture. I will now claim the honor of victory for myself, here on the Altar of Despair. Not at all. It was an honor to carry out such an agreeable duty at the personal command of Lord Sheogorath's personal emissary. Now, it is my even greater honor to die in my Lord's service. Farewell. Awesome. <laughs> I love this soundtrack. Yeah, there's nothing embarrassing about that. I listened to the Mario Kart soundtrack after my first time having sex. <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> oh, now that's embarrassing. Yep. I went into the shower and I, I put on my phone where I have the Mario Kart soundtrack. And I just I just love that soundtrack. I just wanted to hear the do 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 do. <laughs> I just I really wanted to hear that. Can I sacrifice herself on the altar of despair in order to light the flame of Agnon? I can now retrieve the flame from the courtyard and bring it back to Dushayat, the Shagorth commanded. And that first time having sex was literally just last year. I'm 31, turning 32 soon, and yeah. When I say I'm an angel, I mean it. <laughs> That was a person I was intending to marry, too. I had bought the engagement ring and everything. Things didn't work out, though. But I met them on Twitch. <laughs> the last... Oh my gosh, so many relationships I've been in have been on Twitch. Last nine relationships. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty funny to put on during sex. That'd be great. Yeah, I just, I don't know why, but after I finished, I just wanted to hear that song. <laughs> just wanted to hear some Mario Kart. Another soundtrack that I liked to play around my ex was um, the Final Fantasy VII one. I used to like to play Tifa's theme, that really beautiful song, and I used to think of that as being like our song. But yeah. She came to see me in December, because I wanted to, for the first time in my life, not spend the holidays alone, you know? Because it sucks 30 years always been being alone in the holidays. I'm agoraphobic, which means I don't usually leave the house very often unless I have to, though I'm getting better at it. Um, it really helped having her here and having her help me get better at it, but still. <laughs> that's a bang! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny, though. That's awesome. I've got the flame of Agnon. I stepped into the flame of Agnon, and now I'm now ablaze with the holy fire. I should return to New Sheath and light the great torch in the Sicilum Arden Sul. Let's quickly fast travel there. But yeah, 
I don't know what happened towards the end. The last week she was here, she started getting really homesick, and on the last day she was here, I tried proposing, and that's when she said she didn't want to get married, because I'd been saving it for the last day. I had two times I was going to propose before then. One was on a Ferris wheel, because it was a Ferris wheel, and I thought this seems like a really sweet place to property, lawbreaker. If to only you could afford to pay reparations. I'll go to jail then. <laughs> a prison cell is better than um, you deserve. The other place was on the top scum. of Mill Mountain, and I didn't get to go to either one of those, so I wound up uh, proposing on the last day she was here, and that didn't work out. You have to go. You're watching me at work. Oh, awesome. So nice chatting. Oh, you're so sweet. Thanks for the follow. I look forward to seeing you again soon. <laughs> that's awesome. I always like it people tell me they're watching me at work because that's just so cool to think that you're at work watching a stream. Like, I still to this day am fascinated by technology. Have a nice night yourself, <laughs> It It's really great talking to you. I'm in jail. Nothing to do here but sleep. Well, I guess I could have tried to break out, but my athletic skill decreased by one, blade by two, block by two, blunt by one, hand to hand by one, heavy armor by two, alchemy by one. I'm quantum leaping. Hello. <laughs> Speaking of sleeping in a bed, I need to actually sleep to gain a level now that I've lost some levels by sleeping in a bed. So let's find an end nearby. Well, there might be a bedroll somewhere laying around as well. That'd be just as quick to find. Sickly Bernesis has inside here. The flame of Agnon. She a goddess blessing upon you. Ah, the flame of Agnon shines again. Soon the great torch will flare with the pure light of dimension. Safely, are you? Be careful, you might be ill or dying. No. <laughs> if you insist on sleeping, there's a bed for 20 gold a night. Very well. Go through that door up the stairs and it'll be the first door on the right. Sleep well if you can. <laughs> those are some big barrels of beer over there in this top house. She ever wonder if maybe the reason she's sick all the time is because she's drinking so much? <laughs> I used to drink a lot, I know that. Alright, let's see. Not this room. Let's close that. This is a short book, let's go ahead and read it. The Thirteen Blessings of Sheagorath, for our Lord Sheagorath, without whom all thought would be linear and all feeling would be fleeting. Blessed are the madmen, for they hold the keys to secret knowledge. Blessed are the phobic, always wary of that which would do them harm. Blessed are the obsessed, for their courses are clear. Blessed are the addicts, may they quench their thirst that never ebbs. Blessed are the murderous, for they have found beauty in the grotesque. Blessed are the fire lovers, for their hearts are always warm. Blessed are the artists, for in their hands the impossible is made real. Blessed are the musicians, for in their ears they hear the music of the soul. Blessed are the sleepless, as they bask and wait for dreaming. Blessed are the paranoid, ever watchful for our enemies. Blessed are the visionaries, for their eyes see what might be. Blessed are the pain lovers, for in their suffering we grow stronger. Blessed is the mad god who tricks us when we are foolish, punishes us when we are wrong, tortures us when we are mindful, and loves us in our imperfection. Up at the door.
The holy flame of Agnon, the fire of inspiration and rapture. If you light the great torch on the mania side of the Sasellum, you will be a hero to the people of Bliss, I assure you. I knew I saw the glint of true mania in your eyes, my child. Go now and let the holy flame inspire the people of Bliss to new heights of madness. I should report to Shea that I have lit the Great Torch as he requested. Aren't you off to a good start? That's important. For me. Really, your work is going to save me a lot of time. The Grey March is upon us, and the ordering begins. Armies of order sweep my realm. Death, destruction. Then I have to pick up the pieces. And there are always lots of pieces. I don't like it, having to rebuild my realm every era. Sometimes I forget where things go, like New Sheath. I can never remember where it belongs. You'll change that. Break the cycle. You'll stop Jigalan, and I'll have my realm to come back to. I've never actually tried that before. Not. Something has to work. Once I dug a pit and filled it with clouds. Or was it clouds? It doesn't matter. It didn't. <laughs> to be honest, it wasn't the best idea. And it really began to smell. <gasps> Must have been clouds. Clouds don't smell bad. They taste of butter and tears. But this is all new. A fresh idea! Something I hadn't thought of. Until I did. It sure to work. Even though it might not. Now, you'll need the respect of my citizens. They'll need a leader, someone to look up to when I'm gone. They're the backbone of any great land. Except where the backbone is an actual backbone. Ever been to Malakoth's realm? Oh, nasty stuff. But back to the business at hand. You'll need to control one of the carts of madness. Replace a current duke, or duchess, whichever. That will command respect. The people will rally around you. You'll have their love, their admiration, their complaints, whatever, as long as it keeps them on our side. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Absolutely not. Well, yes. Absolutely. Bit of a shame for them. But sometimes, you need to break a few eggs. Or skulls. There are rules, though. Even in the eyes. Rituals and rules. You need to follow them. Speak to Artis and Ervenen, the high priest at the Sasellum Arden Sul. They can explain what needs to be done. And you've always got our man Haskell to call on for help. Faithful. Like a good hound, that one. And he looks better in a suit. It's already started, but you might be able to stop it. We're making you into a leader that people can trust. Someone to look up to. Someone to blame. Once I'm gone, things usually get bad quickly. Lots of defections, lots of carnage. But with you at the helm, things will be different. This time, I'll beat him! I can't stand losing, and I don't mind cheating. Ta, ah, come visit again, or I'll pluck out your eyes! <laughs> the great torch shines with the pure light of mania. You chose well. In accordance with the ancient tradition, receive now the raiment of Arden Sul in honor of your mighty deed in service to mania. How we would all aspire to be as great a leader as the first, our savior, Arden Sul, the greatest duke of the ages. We celebrate him with the ritual of accession, the path to maniac bliss.
An important part of our history, my friend. I would be glad to tell the tale if you have a moment. Arden Sul was perhaps the greatest duke to walk our land. Many years ago, he decided to hold a night of absolute indulgence, resplendent with dance, wine, and sex, to celebrate his fondness for his brethren. The green moat flowed like water in a stream as the revelers voraciously succumbed to its rapturous wave. Ah, but it was. As the Bacchanal reached a crescendo, the people began to clutch their chests as their very hearts exploded. The green moat had taken its toll. The ground stained a deep crimson as the sanguine liquid flowed from their lifeless bodies. To represent that night, when the ruler of Mania is to be replaced, he partakes of the green moat and allows his lifeblood to flow upon the altar. Certainly, when the ruler of Mania has decided it is time, he will choose a successor from his court. The successor is invited to a huge celebration, a night of hedonistic revelry, wine, song, and of course, green moat. During this, the exiting regent imbibes three doses of the potent drug. This causes his heart to burst, and his lifeblood flows from his body. The successor then gathers the drug-tainted blood and brings it to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I will proclaim the successor a duke or duchess. Then, Shea Gorath gives his blessing and the cycle is completed. I spoke in a Dervedin. High Priest of Mania. The ritual of accession for Mania requires the current ruler to commit suicide by taking three doses of green moat, which is lethal. Then his drug tainted blood must be brought to the altar of Alden Sul at the Sicilum. I should now speak to Arctus to learn of Dementia's ritual. I'm disappointed in your choice. You'll find Mania to be a fickle friend. Blasphemy! Never utter the name of the Dark Deceiver lightly. Though his body is beyond oblivion, his soul encircles us, always watching, waiting to pounce with lethal aplomb. He is the bringer of pain and pleasure, the blade that cuts through our sins like a scythe through wheat. Only a true demented can appreciate what it means to render his name. Seldom is the subject ever br Wait a moment. Did you want to hear the history of the ritual? As it happened so many years ago, my lord Arden Sul suspected a traitor in his midst. Not wishing to find himself on the wrong end of a blade, he gathered his flock here in the Sacellum. By poisoning the sacramental wine, Arden Sul was able to suppress any such conspiracy in one fell swoop. Yes, he then removed their hearts from their bodies and used his ancient scrying technique, known as visceromancy, to read their lifeblood. When Arden Sul couldn't divine the traitor's true nature in their hearts, he became distraught and took his own life in the same way. From that day on, the ritual of accession for the throne of dementia was set very well. Spoken like a true son of the Demented. To become the ruler of Dementia, the current leader's heart must be cut out and brought to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I can pronounce the heart bearer a duke or duchess. Then, all that is required is the blessing of our lord, Shilgorath. I've spoken to Arctis, High Priest of Dementia. The ritual of accession for Dementia is simple. Sylv would have to be slain by the proposed successor and have her heart brought to the altar of Arden Sul of the After I decide which ritual to undertake, I should return to Shriagorath and inform him of my choice. Darkest blessings upon you. You're back! How nice for you! Does that mean you've made a decision? Or are you lost? Suicidal? 
just let you know. A friendly word of warning before you choose. Once you've decided which duke to replace, there's no turning back. One choice. No more. No less. Try not to do something stupid. So which is it? What will it be? Mania? Dementia? The suspense is killing me! Or you, if I have to keep waiting. A safer choice, perhaps. Maybe you'll live through this. Aiden's a bit lost these days. Not that it's a bad thing. It suits him. <laughs> Until now. Besides, won't it be a grand surprise when you make his heart burst from too much green moat? Dayton loves surprises. <laughs> It'll be in full swing soon. Excited? You shouldn't be. It's the death of all things. But if we can get you into shape, we might stand a chance. You'll lead my forces. Inspire my people. Hopefully, everyone won't end up dead. He'll be here soon. And I'll be gone. Can't say I like the sound of that. I like the sound of other things, though. Like birds and bones cracking. Faden may be in a constant state of euphoria, but I wouldn't underestimate his intelligence. <laughs> this is so much fun! We will speak when your task is complete. Where am I? Where's my apparel? What am I wearing? What in the heck? Oh, that's because I was in jail, right? <laughs> that's better. Nice ring. Ah. Calicrack to find it. Yeah, this guy's not gonna help. Gal dressed in it. Blessings of the Mad God. If I were you, I'd check with Thedon Steward. Why die? You can usually find her roaming around Nushea, or spending a lot of time on the palace grounds. See you. How may I serve?
How can I help you this fine day? Ooh, you can stop glowing so bright. Such a kind and noble man. In times like these, it's good to have a leader who still enjoys all the modern pleasures Mania has to offer. Well, yes. Apart from enjoying his painting, reading a good book, or a rousing night of erotic bedroom games. I'm speaking of Greenmoat, of course. There is no greater pleasure. If I didn't have such a busy daily routine, I'd likely indulge myself in its pleasures more often. Very well. I see little harm in telling you. After a bit of reading in the garden and running my special errand at noon, I like to shop at Books of Bliss. Around 8 p.m. we are served dinner. Gundlar is quite a chef and prepares Thaden's meals personally, adding just a hint of green moat. After that, we dance, we sing, or we do whatever else suits my lord's tastes. Green moat is the refined version of the spores that are harvested from the spore trees that dot mania. We keep the green moat safely tucked inside the green moat silo. You can imagine the ruckus if its location was known. Only a select few, such as myself, know the silo's location. However, we are sworn to secrecy. There isn't enough gold or enough jokes in the world that would convince me to tell you where the green moat is located. If you see a Gnarl, be careful what spells you use on them. Yes, I must attend to him. Speaking to you has already cost me time. I must go. Good day to you. Again, we cross paths. Farewell. Fry Dye has described to me a bit of a routine. I'll need to find where she gets Green Moat from and obtain some without being discovered. Fry Dye mentions she does a special errand at noon every day. I should follow her and see where she goes. So she doesn't tell me, so the solution is to stalk her. followed wide-eyed to an unremarkable alcove in the palace courtyard. I shall watch from the Spanish point to see what she does. I've observed wide-eyed activating the secret entrance to the green mode silo. I need to get inside and procure two extra doses of the potent drug without getting caught. Oh. I remember what I didn't like about this quest was the stealth. The like used to always wonder just going for the dementia one because Aye. of that. Blessings of the Mad God. Stay away from Green Moat. Your enemy will just use it to lull you into a false sense of security before he strikes. <laughs> Ajasta thinks the world is ending tomorrow. She's been saving magic items just in case. Save, just in case I botch this stealth quest. There's a person right there. And boom. Oh. 
Halt, lawbreaker. Lord. Get off my ass. Eta Oriole. Stuff didn't work. So I'm killing them all. <laughs> I'll have to survive. I'm breaking all of these weapons. What the fudge? I do have a blood specialty too, in addition to my blade specialty, but I haven't really been working on that. Oh, I really like that though. I've obtained two doses of Grimo. I now need to sneak into Thanon's kitchen sometime before 8 o'clock and attempt to slip an extra dose without his into his evening meal and into his wine without being seen. Otherwise, try again tomorrow night. Gunlar prepares the meal in the morning, so I'll have to wait until the afternoon to poison this food. Does Grimo have any kind of like selling value? Because there's like a whole lot of it here. <laughs> about that. Of course not. It does weigh a lot though. Kneel before the Eta saints. Oriole. About an arrow. I have an arrow going through my arm. <laughs> Does not look comfortable at all. Speak, sister. Speak, sister. Thank you. 
law break. See, I got this problem. Guards don't like me. And I don't like guards. You knew a Robocop reference was coming, so. Oh, anybody that knows me personally knows how much I love Robocop that knows that. <laughs> the saints look at all these arrows I like a huge pink cushion <laughs> Like any of the other maids are. Oh, wait. Where's the uh, right then? There it is. Oh, 
why I had such a hard time saying that. It had to be one specific model. I've slept an extra dose of grey mode into Thetan's meal and Thetan's wine. I should proceed to the dining room area at 8 o'clock for the evening feast and watch the effect the grey mode overdose has on Thetan. Oh, my, yes. I feel especially delighted this evening. Perhaps it's time I recited my latest soliloquy. <clears throat> the Lady Fair, our love is told, with hair as fine as soft spun gold. Lips as red as a sun-drenched dawn, skin as a newborn thorn. Eyes as blue as a cerulean sea. Yeah. What? My heart can't breathe. Help me.
torture Thaden rose to deliver an odd soliloquy. He clutched his heart and fell to the ground dead. I should now collect as much of his tainted blood as possible. I've obtained Thaden's direct tainted blood. I now need to make my way back to the altar of Arden Sula for Zazello. Blessings, citizen. Once again, has the ritual of accession come full circle. The blood of Thaden has been consumed by Arden Sul's will, and all of Mania welcomes you with open arms. I now declare you Duchess of Mania of the Shivering Isles. May your light shine upon all our happiest days. I've heard of such a grand place. Ah. To imagine all that wonderful green moat under one roof. I wouldn't be caught dead at sickly Bernice's, though I imagine her customers might. May Arden Soup enrich your mind and guide your heart. Not since you guys love green moat so much. I've got plenty of it, no use for it. There's your green mode. Enjoy it, guys. Yeah, damn it! The ritual is complete, and you survived! A shame about Thedon, but it's how he would have wanted it to go. Now, on to other. Wait, I must speak. The ritual must not be completed. Sil, you dare interrupt me? Only I interrupt me. Like just then. I'm speaking with someone. We'll talk later. Or not. When is later exactly? Not now, I'm sure of that. Guards! I think Sil forgot how to use the door. Kindly show her out. Before I forget myself. you all along. Hold your tongue, little duchess, or I'll tear you from your mouth. Replacing Thaden with this outsider? This is how it ends. I should have seen this coming. Calm yourself, Syl. You're making my teeth itch. You still hold your office? I suggest you see to your duties. No, oh, I see what's going on. I should have seen it before. You conspire to destroy us all. You're a fool if you think I'll allow this to happen. Fool? Visionary! Changes in the air still. Breathe it deep. Bathe in its scent. Bottle it up, save some for later. Order stands at our door. They've taken the fringe. Did you even know? Do you care? And you speak of change. Change will preserve us. It is the lifeblood of the Isles. It will move mountains. It will mount movements. No, I can't do this. 
There has to be a way out. A way to escape. Then go, Sil. Return to your quarters before I send you back in pieces. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll go. The enemy of my enemy. Order is the key. I'll keep them close. No! Let her go. This is not over, Madgard. I give myself to Jigalag. As a priest of order, I'll be safe. Your empire will crumble before the armies of order. After informing Sheik Arath of my victory, Syl, the Duchess of Dementia, became furious. Before she stormed out of the Sicellum, she threatened that we hadn't heard the last of her. I should continue speaking to Shiagorath to receive my rewards of office. And hey, Naivos, I hope you're having an awesome day, and if you're not, I hope it gets a little more awesome soon. Wondering why I let her go, aren't you? I can see it in your face. Mostly in Mostly the I eyes. See a glow from this night eye. I, I may take those it. from you when this is done. This has never happened before! The ruler of dementia turning traitor? Unprecedented! I've seen others defect, but never a duke! Maybe we're onto something here. Let's see how it plays out. It can't be worse than what's happened before. Looks a little choppy. I might have to restart my stream. It gets choppy sometimes on OBS randomly. It'll do that, so I'm going to do that real quick. Just gonna restart it. It's just a weird OBS bug. I have to restart OBS in the stream. It should take less than a whole minute. Just refresh the stream. Sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> 